Today is a day that we have been waiting for and talking about for, oh my gosh, six weeks, which is nuts. <laughs> Today we are headed to the genetic specialist and there they will be doing our anatomy scan. Um, I am 22 weeks now. It's typically done, an anatomy scan is done at 20 weeks, but I was out of town. Plus there is a little miscommunication about how to get Sawyer's blood work done, but we got that figured out. We have received the results literally late last night, so <laughs> which is perfect timing because we almost had to reschedule the specialist again. So we are able to go today and I'm just excited because I got a few different opinions regarding my results. So I'm excited to have the specialist look over it, do a thorough check and um, go over both mine and Sawyer's genetic results. There's been a lot of anticipation around this appointment like on my behalf so I'm very excited that it is happening and that we'll be able to finally get some answers. So I just pulled in, I'm going to pick up Sawyer and then we're going to drive about an hour, hour-ish north and finally get our anatomy scan. <sighs> So Sarah and I just pulled up to the doctor's office and apparently for an anatomy scan, you have to drink so much liquid <laughs> prior to your appointment, which is a big ask for pregnant women, I've decided you because pee, you pee every 15 I minutes. have been needing to pee since we got in the car and I think I've only gotten through like maybe 10 ounces of what they said to drink, but I'm like, I can't drink anymore. I'm going to literally explode. How many do you supposed to drink? 25 to 45 ounces and I think I've drank maybe half of this so I may be good but anymore I'm gonna have to pee and I think that doesn't matter anyways <laughs> anatomy scan day <laughs> anatomy scan day um, fingers crossed everything goes well yeah we're we're excited to get some answers and get another opinion and we're gonna head up there and take this one in for ourselves so we will see you on the other side of the scan just look <laughs> Ready? I know, right? <laughs> That's our boy. Look at that little cute nose. Yeah, it's perfect. That's adorable. Big dude. <laughs> he is a big boy. Exciting. Pretty exciting. Exciting to say the least. <laughs> That's my buddy. Cute little nose. That was such a sigh of relief. Like after kind of all the little <sighs> miscommunications and everything that it took to get here, that doctor was so sweet. We can safely say that our baby boy is growing appropriately. He's doing good. <laughs> In fact, he's oversized. <laughs> he's doing good. And uh, we are not carriers for anything so that was so cool Our favorite Yay. photograph that's ever been taken all right so here's a few few stats his heart rate was 157 he weighs 1.6 ounces and he's measuring a week ahead but not big enough to like change my due date heart looks good kidneys look good that and was and apparently his dad has perfect genetics yeah <laughs> yes we did find out <laughs> we did find out sawyer is not oh, okay so on the genetic front. <laughs> Sawyer is not a carrier for anything and I am a carrier of a hex gene which does give a false negative for Tay-Sachs which is how this all started. Um, but we did learn going forward if we have any more kids or when we have more kids we're compatible we are compatible and we don't have to do the genetics she again that done before we got married but you know <laughs> an actual compatibility test yeah. who would have thought our coding genetic yeah, test what operating system are you on yeah. <laughs> that was a good one look at his little perfect little lips and his nose his nose is adorable it's he was oh, oh oh he was folded in half he was breech he was, he was holding, holding his, his toes feet. And he was, we saw him like drinking in there. Oh, crazy. Anyways, great appointment. Huge sigh of relief. <sighs> Mom is hungry. <laughs> Sorry. 
So now that we are like well into the second trimester, I wanted to kind of touch on some new pregnancy symptoms that have come to light. And I had mentioned a few of them as they were happening in like a vlog or two ago, but other ones have also popped up. Heartburn. Heartburn has been so fun. Not at all. <laughs> I have not been enjoying the heartburn, um, but it seems to be a constant one that I've been experiencing. I like the acid reflux and just like that constant like burning sensation. I never knew what people were talking about um, until now. So I'm hoping it doesn't get much worse as this is not my favorite symptom. So if you have any good remedies for pregnancy heartburn, please let me know. Another one that I had already mentioned is the round ligament pain. That is such a weird sensation. I had it in the first trimester, it subsided, and then I had it about a week and a half ago while I was in Utah and it was really bad. It has now subsided, thank goodness. That is such a weird feeling. Um, and then also my sciatic nerve. I've noticed if I overexert myself, planting some rose bushes a couple days ago, oh my gosh, I realized I just overdid it, overexerted myself energy-wise and I could feel it in my sciatic nerve, which was no fun. So I have to remember um, that I'm 22 weeks and counting and I can't do everything to the full extent that I used to. Some new symptoms that have popped up, which have been interesting. Dry skin. So I don't know if this is actually a pregnancy symptom, but it's new, which is weird because I've been like oiling up like <laughs> I'm an oil slick morning and night but like my hands get so dry the texture has kind of changed as well as like my hands have been cracking and it's just so interesting it's kind of painful and then a symptom that I've noticed has changed um, since my first trimester was my appetite the first trimester I was like super hungry um, and wanting to snack all the time like I'd wake up and be like oh my gosh I'm hungry feed me now for some reason in my second trimester my like appetite has subsided and it almost feels like pre-pregnancy I'm not even really hungry till about like 10 11 I'll have like a good breakfast but like I am not as like direly hungry as I was in the first trimester. So that's just kind of been interesting to note. It was really nice at our anatomy scan to hear that baby boy is like growing appropriately. In fact, he like measures a little bit like bigger. Um, so I'm like, okay, cool. So they didn't mention I need to eat more, just how my body is handling the second trimester. So those were some of the new symptoms that have popped up. But interestingly enough, I am actually surprised that I haven't had a ton of like hormone changes or like mood swings or like emotional swings, um, mainly because that is something that I talked to my therapist about prior to actually getting pregnant and she had actually talked to me um, about like postpartum depression and that how that's something I could be prone to and like things to watch out for, which actually leads me into this next part. The reason why I bring up therapy is, first of all, therapy holds a special place in my heart. I've been going to therapy, uh, gosh, about for 15 years now, I think is when I started. And I've actually teamed up with BetterHelp for this video. And the reason is I, just can't stress how important it is to have somebody to talk to. Like I have gone through so many life changing events and as everyone has, like just a little bit of like my story for anyone that's new here. Um, gosh, my parents got divorced about 10 years ago. Of course, as you're growing up, you have like your own emotional battles. So it's always so helpful to have somebody to talk to. And then about gosh, a year and a half ago, coming up on two years, which is just crazy. Like I lost my dad, um, he battled cancer for five years. So just so many life changing things and like now being married and being pregnant, like I've just always found the importance of having somebody to talk to. Whether it's a life changing event or just trying to learn more about yourself, there's just so, 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 so many benefits of having somebody to talk to, to help navigate life and just learn like important life tools. Gosh, having those in your back pocket when you need them. So whether you're pregnant like me and trying to navigate all those new feelings and emotions and life-changing events, or if you've gone through something traumatic or you just want to learn more about yourself, therapy is an amazing tool and BetterHelp has made it accessible to everyone. Traditionally, finding a therapist can be a little tricky, like finding somebody to connect with, and that's where BetterHelp makes it just that much easier. So I 
I have a link here and you answer a few questions and they will actually connect you with a professional who matches your needs. You can do this all from a phone or computer via like video chat, messaging, or like a phone call, however you feel most comfortable. It's honestly the easiest way to start talking to a therapist. I will have all the information and links down in the description box, so feel free to look there, but basically just go to betterhelp.com slash Angelique um, and there will be a special discount for you for the first month or during sign up, you can just select my channel name and that same discount will be there for you. But well, that is my pregnancy symptoms update as well as my kind of experience around therapy. Yeah, those tools, they last. They last a lifetime. I literally don't know where I'd be without therapy. So that is my little tidbit. So I will go grab Sawyer and we will do our little 22 week bump update. 22 week bump update. I thought we were bumping before. So you're bumping. I am officially. I don't even think you popped though. No, I don't think so either. That's only like a pound and a half, and it's gonna get to be like eight. Bump, bump. We gotta pull over. Oh, oh yeah, it's right there. Three, two, bump. Got a breath. I am out of breath. Is anybody else's pregnant wife just out of breath, putting on shoes? Out of breath, a lot. There's a lot going on. So cool having like these timestamps, like looking at the first Polaroid to like, I'm talking. <laughs> this week our baby is the size of an ear of corn. According to this, 11.4 yeah, inches. Did they tell us the length of our baby is? No. 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 Okay, that's what I was wondering. I didn't know he's a foot long. Yep, he's almost a foot long and ours weighs 1.6. By the time you hit 22 weeks, your baby started developing a sleep pattern. I can safely say that I have been feeling him move and kick around, which has been a an very cool sensation. Good, that's all you wanted. He's moving and grooving in there. Moving and grooving. <laughs> Crazy. You doing some yoga? I don't think that's an official yoga position, sweetheart. Daisy pup. Daisy. Good morning. Today is going to be another prenatal self-care day. Um, my doula is actually a massage therapist as well. And like in part of her package, she includes prenatal massages. So today I'm going to do my first prenatal massage and I'm very excited. And then I have another prenatal workout session today with my trainer at the gym. So we will go do that as well. And then there's something else later today, but we'll start with those two. Very excited about this massage. My back has been killing me after traveling. And obviously as my bump is growing, it'll be really nice to see what this prenatal massage is I have a feeling I'll be getting a lot more. <laughs> Self-care day, here we go. That prenatal massage was so relaxing. I didn't realize how sore like my back was and even like my glute muscles. Like that was a very nice treat. Plus the whole time her and I were talking about like little tips and tricks and like I was asking her tons of questions like she's just a wealth of knowledge and that is just like that was priceless to me uh the, the massage was great <laughs> but the knowledge was just priceless um so next week we will be setting up our first like educational meeting um which is perfect timing now that we've had our anatomy scan and all the genetics is figured out and like i have one more doctor's appointment tomorrow so i feel like i will be very prepared with a ton of questions uh, next week. Plus she's going to send me like a ton of information as far as like what we're going to be going over so I can like prepare any questions. So next week's meeting will be good. But I just pulled up to my gym and I'm about to go do my second prenatal workout class. <sighs> I'm ready for my abs to be sore again. <laughs> Didn't realize how I wasn't engaging my abs and like how much more I need to be. So this is a great little workout class. Ooh. 
that class, or as simple as the moves are, there's just something about like the slow breathing mixed with like the slow movement with like the pelvic floor workout that just like gets you like, <laughs> I'm exhausted. And it was like only a 35 minute workout. Um, but it reminds me a lot of Pilates, like that slow breathing, slow movement. So, whew, yeah, it's different when you're pregnant working those slow, like pelvic floor muscles, like those deep muscles. I know it'll be worth it though. Everyone says like if you can work out and maintain like movement while pregnant, like it just makes birth so much easier. So we'll see. I'm doing, doing my best over here. <laughs> so today is the day that Karen officially moves into our neighborhood. How crazy is that? She's My mom's gonna, a neighbor. <laughs> she's gonna live three streets away from us and it's literally perfect timing with the baby coming. We have flowers, a little housewarming present for her. But let's go see Karen's new house. I'm so excited. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can you believe it? Hi, it's moving day. Hi. We're moving. We're getting Whoa. Look how dirty my couch looks. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to have that clean by God. Whoa. But we're getting there. That's awesome. Wow. Thank you. Thank oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> well it's crazy with all your stuff in here. Oh, that's I'm about to walk into my doctor's office, my OB. Um, I think this is like their 20 week appointment. We had to do our anatomy scan at the specialist, but now that that's done, uh, they just want to do like their little checkup here. So it's actually just me today. So I had something that he had to do. So being that this should be very quick, in fact, it should like <laughs> literally be just checking the heart rate because we just had our specialty appointment, uh, genetic appointment about well, anatomy scan, all of it um, on Monday. So this is just for them to update my weight, check on the baby's heart. Um, probably won't be that exciting. A little checkup. So the quickest appointment ever, it was super simple. Basically, they just wanted to see me in their office around 20 weeks, even though they didn't do the anatomy scan. So I gave them the full update um, from the specialist. Uh, they're just waiting for the records to transfer because that just takes a minute. Um, but everything looks good. His heart rate today was a 152, like literally in and out. She said, everything is looking good. I'm growing appropriately. My Weight is looking good. So all in all, good, quick appointment. We love those. She's like, any questions? I'm like, honestly, no. <laughs> She's like, cool, easy enough. She did give me some blood work to get done before my next appointment. And being that we are going to Hawaii, we did schedule um, my next appointment in three weeks instead of four. So that way she can see me in the following three weeks. So she can see me twice uh, before we head to Hawaii. She wants to see me right before we leave just to make sure everything is looking good, sounding okay before I get on a plane and make that journey, which I appreciate. I wanna make sure baby boy is doing good before I get on a plane at like 30 weeks. So, but she said I should be totally fine to travel. So anyways. Good appointment, super easy, super quick. I was only in there for like 20 minutes, love that. Another doctor's appointment down. We are, we are getting closer. And the next time I'll see my doctor, it'll be 27 weeks. It's flying by. So we ran by Karen's to drop her off something. And within like three hours, Karen, <laughs> Karen's fully moved in. You would think there'd be a box in sight. It's like she's lived here for years. <laughs> Look like I that. mean, okay, there's one box, but yeah. other than the, the one that needs to be like set up, that's the only box I can find in the house. <laughs> that oh, one. Oh, right. Other than that, she's like <laughs> moved in. I'm in. I'm in, baby. <laughs> <laughs> cute. Very, very cute. Oh, it's coming together. Are you exhausted? Oh my god, so <laughs> yeah, I was just sleeping. I already slept once, and I was just sleeping again. And then the neighbors came and brought me champagne. Now I'm sleeping for the third time. You guys came, so yeah, I'm beat. Daisy, hi Daisy. Daisy, Daisy isn't too sure about what to make of it, huh? 
She's like, I don't know what this is. All of our stuff is here. Well, it's looking good. It does look good, right? Yes, very much so. I am so excited. Look how swollen my ankle is. Yeah, I can imagine. Yep. Tell me you have an Australian Shepherd and a Golden Retriever without telling me you have a Golden Retriever. Look at those paws. Don't come near my white shoes. Absolutely not. No. Ah! <laughs> Get in there. Doodle poodle. Good morning. I started off this day very strong. I went to a workout class today, it was like arms and shoulders. And then I went to the dentist, got my teeth cleaned. And my gal said my teeth are doing really well throughout pregnancy because I guess that's a thing like gums bleed. Um, so they say to get your teeth cleaned while you're pregnant to make sure everything is you're keeping up on it so teeth are looking good and then I also just finished as you saw a, another prenatal workout class those classes just hit different like it's taught me so much as far as like how to engage my pelvic floor and like how to breathe correctly while working out like I've started to implement that into my workouts especially as my belly is growing so yeah those classes have been very educational and informative and good little workout. It's definitely a good strong start to the day. Got a lot done already. It's only 11 a.m. So I don't even know what else I have to do today. I'm sure something. I'm sure. So I had remembered what I needed and wanted to do today. Um, I have been needing to look up like some pregnancy classes. Um, there is a place here where we live called Healthy Start, and they offer classes, um, like, like they have some here that are like labor signs and is it time, and then they have one labor support and birth, and then they also have one for like breastfeeding and like a few other ones. So, <laughs> I feel like now that I am 22 weeks, I need to start kind of planning and preparing for like the next half of pregnancy. So um, I'm going to look into these classes, see when they're offered again or how close to um, our due date we should actually do these. I know next week we have a meeting with our doula to do like an educational class. I think between those two will definitely be a good start. Um, but I was wondering um, for any moms out there or nurses or doulas or anybody that has been around somebody that's been pregnant, what would you recommend like moving forward to prepare? Like classes, um, what books I should read? Um, is there anything like at 22 weeks and on? Like at what point did you start doing stuff like, gosh, anything from your baby registry that I need to start um, I need to start like planning the nursery and buying things so I'm just curious at like what weeks and at what stages you started doing things I'm no longer at the beginning I'm in my second half and I need to start preparing and planning I just wanted your input and what your timeline looked like and how you or anyone you know prepared for birth <laughs> Because it's a lot when you Google it and you look on like, I don't know, like a timeline of pregnancy and when you should do things by when. It's a lot and it's a little overwhelming. I'm starting to feel a little bit of that overwhelmingness. So I thought I would ask and see from anyone that has experience in this realm. Next week we will start preparing and planning for the next phase. So I'm excited to see what you guys say down below. So it's official, <laughs> uh, we are headed to a friend's event and I literally could only find one thing to wear in my closet for like summer, spring. We've officially moved into the uh, flowy sundress, AKA Moo Moo phase. Would you say we're moving in the Moo Moo's? We're moving in the Moo Moo's. Might need to order some new clothes for spring. <laughs> moving. 